This is Dwight in my haunted Fowler. I'm in the old Benton County Jail. <clears throat> Here to get some measurements for some uh, updates we need to make. But I'm going to leave Spirit Talker. I got Spirit Typer and Spirit Talker running while I go downstairs and get the measurements. Take the cat ball with me because I will be in the evidence room. We'll just let this run and see what we get. We are all around you. We are all around you. Okay, well, you can follow me down to the dungeon. In case you want to see my pretty face, which you can't. Here, there you go. Ooh. Get the rave, my hunted fowler. Go down and get some measurements. We'll place the cat ball down the activity while we're down there. I saw a flash of light above the door as I came down the stairs, but the camera didn't capture it. I'm not sure what that was. <clears throat> anyway, we want to get some plexiglass put in here so you can see stuff but not touch stuff. I'm gonna turn this light on here. No we're not. Okay, so what I need is to know how long this is. One twenty seven. So 130 by, if you're here, you can touch that ball and make it light up. 130 by, cobwebs. I would do a live session, but no, we will do since this is a very active area. Put the cab all there. Let that finish. If there's anybody here, can you touch that cat ball and make it light up? Or can you roll it off the top of that, I guess, salt holder, water softener, hold, whatever. The thing you put the salt in for a water softener. <laughs> can you touch that ball and make it light up? So that was a spirit talker upstairs. Set outside of Jacob Nelling's cell. He's the person in 1883 lynched for the brutal murder of Ada Atkinson. Jacob, are you down here with us? If so, can you touch that ball? Make it light up. Or roll it. <laughs> Sorry. Roll it off the top of the water softener, water salt thingy holder tank. 
Or can you open the door to the evidence room? Or knock on that door? So I'm going to knock on this door. Can you copy me? That was a spirit talker upstairs. Here's my hand. So you see I'm not knocking. Don't want to knock? I hear lots of talking on the spirit talker upstairs, so we'll head up there. One last chance before we go upstairs. Can you touch that ball? Knock on a wall three times? Or even just say something so we can hear you? All right, let's go upstairs. Spirit Talker is yammering. I am on vacation. Aaron. See if we get any Aaron. See if we get any Aaron. See if we get any action. Okay. I did not touch that door. So I heard a banging noise, but it could have been outside. There's some workers next door, so we'll just go with We assume it was something outside. Let's see what words we've gotten. We're going to put the spirit, or the cat ball, on the door to Jacob's cell. So we've got Jimmy, agitated, admire, energy, team, and we're all around you. 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 So that I heard. And that was inside here. Who's down there? Can you do that again? I heard you hit the Pretty sure it was the shower wall there. Put this paper down. Take measure. Are we getting some action? Shot? Were you shot? Let's put the cat ball down there. Okay, that was not me. You son of a bitch. <laughs> there. I heard a tap. Robinson? Whoever's here, can you touch that cab ball? Robinson was shot. I don't know a Robinson. Emery Poole? Are you here? You can touch that cat ball and light it up. Or if you want, just roll it off the top of there. Or you can try and speak through this device here called Spirit Talker. Who's here with me? Bernice. Bernice? 
Is there a Bernice here? Are you a visitor? The women's section is upstairs. Can you bang on that shower wall again? I am in here all by myself. Just here to keep you company. Can you meet me halfway? Hit that shower wall again or touch that ball? <clears throat> touch that ball? It'll light up. I'm going to try and call out the workers next door if I hear them. They shut a truck door earlier, so that was normal, not paranormal. I got Bernice and Robinson. Is there... Scream. Can someone scream for me? Whoever's here, can you scream? Shado. Said Shado, but it's Shadow. Now, the last time I was here, I captured a shadow up in here. I had a whopping zero people jump on YouTube Live. I had a whopping zero people jump on YouTube. I had a whopping zero people jump on YouTube. I had a whopping zero people jump on YouTube Live. Okay, I think I just saw shadow movement, but I don't know if I captured it. I'm standing back here. Let's see if I can... That's the part in the way here. Can you show yourself? Can you show your shadow? Can you move? I have a pretty good, what I consider a shadow figure from my last visit here. Are you still here with us? Can you make your presence known? That's me shaking the camera. Okay, I'll move the uh, CAD ball. Jess, all right, you about made me pee my pants when you yelled Jess as I walked by. I don't know a Jess, well I do know a Jess, he works for me. But I don't know of any reason he would be here. There could be a Jess associated. I just don't know that Jess. So that cat ball's going off because I moved it. Now, can you make it go off by touching it? I moved it to the third cell because as much as we think Jacob Nelling is here. I often hear things and people have experienced more from this third cell than Jacob's cell, which I wondered if maybe there's an inmate here that night and he was in that cell and he was terrified of also being lynched by the angry mob. That was me touching some very safe, I'm sure, lead-based paint. If you're here, can you make a noise by banging on the shower wall? I, that's what I heard earlier, it sounded like. Or banging on one of these cell doors. Do the ones in front of me, not behind me, because then that way people can see that it's not me. My remains. My remains. Sorry, that's me again on the lead-based paint. I don't know what they mean by my remains. We know that Jacob is buried in a pauper's grave. Pauper's grave. He was a Civil War veteran, but because he had murdered the young girl, he did not get buried with honors.
Are you talking about your remains, Jacob? If so, introduce yourself. Introduce myself? I think I said earlier that I'm Dwight from My Haunted Fowler, but if I did not, that's who I am, Dwight from My Haunted Fowler. And I'm here a lot. Whoever's here, can you bang on a cell door here or off on the other side? The other side being over there. Before I go, I'd really like for somebody to touch that cat ball and make it light up or roll it off the... And please don't actually roll it off the cell door because it will break. Footsteps. I'm listening for footsteps. We do get boot steps on the second floor on several occasions. We have. Can you walk upstairs? Can you walk in the cells upstairs? Cabinet. Cabinet. There's a lot of cabinets in here. Can you walk upstairs and make food, food steps? <laughs> Footstep sounds. I exercised, and then I worked in the yard, and now I'm doing a ghost hunt. A very full Friday. Those were my footsteps. Is anyone here with me? Well, I think someone is. I heard a bang on that bathroom, sorry, shower stall wall earlier. Can you show yourself? <clears throat> we will move the cat ball to a cabinet. Spirit Talker said cabinet. Let's see if that does anything. Now, I'm stomping to see if that will set it off on the cabinet. Can you touch that cat ball? There's a shape shifter. There's a shape shifter? Well, I don't want that shit. Where? Where is the shape shifter? Is that the shadow I saw last time I was here? They were on the ceiling in this room. It was. I'm going to need to go in a few minutes. Can you bang on another object? Or make that cat ball light up? I'll give you about two minutes, then I'm going to head out. Actually, we're not. let's go upstairs, and then we'll head out. We're going to go up to the kids' room. It gets a lot of activity. I say the kids' room. That's where... Two men here. Two men here. You're freaking me out. I'm giving myself chills. Well, I'm one man. 
I don't see a second man. So let's go to the kids' room and see if we can get the cat ball to move. Light up. Or the ball that's in the room. It's beautiful here. It's beautiful here? What do you like about here? You know, that ball's usually not out here. We added this rocking chair. I'm going to sit in this. It's nap time. So I want whoever's in here to take a nap. And if you can't nap, can you roll that ball or light touch that cat ball on the floor? Make it light up. It's a toy. You saw it lit up when I came in here. Out of shape. So I can't make it light up, even stomping on the floor. So I need your help. Afraid? Afraid? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of me? Please move back. Okay. Well, this is as far as I can go. Here. You're afraid you want me to move back. How's that? Is that better? Can you play the, the balls on the floor now? I'm way back. It has me stepping on stuff from the ceiling. Hot up here. The wall of dead birds. I stepped back. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I thought I saw something to my left, but I think it's my ice playing tricks on me. What's your name? That was my keys, sorry. Joseph. Your name is Joseph? How old are you, Joseph? Joseph, can you tell us how old you are? What are you afraid of, Joseph? My name is Dwight. If that makes you feel more comfortable. I'm with my parents. You're with your parents. Are they protecting you, Joseph? That's what parents are supposed to do. Are you touching my arm right now, Joseph? Just felt like a light graze on my wrist, the wrist that's holding the camera. What's your parents' name, Joseph? What are their names? How old are you? I asked that earlier. Can you tell me how old you are? Do 
Joseph, are you still here? Are your parents here? Can one of them sit in that rocking chair? Hello there. Are you one of jo Joseph's parents? Heard a noise. It could have been outside. What's your name? I'm Dwight. I was outside. Well, I need to go in about four minutes. Can whoever's here touch either the green ball or the clear ball? or sit in that chair. Or can you knock on a wall like this? I'm gonna keep my hand here so you know it's not me. I believe that's Joe, one of Joseph's parents that said hello there. What's your name? I worked here. You worked here? Were you a sheriff? That would be interesting to find out if there's a sheriff who had a son named Joseph. You worked here. Did you work as the sheriff? Did you work as... Can you tell me what you did here? You could have been a jailer, you could have been a sheriff, a deputy sheriff, a janitor, a cook. Although I think the inmates did their own janitorial service. So you worked here, what, what was your job? This is me knocking again. Can you knock back? It's obviously it's the beautiful one. Here. It's beautiful here. You said that earlier. Here at the jail or where you are? Have you moved on to a better place? This jail ain't so beautiful. In my opinion, lots of noise outside, cars driving by. Well, I've got about a minute. If you, if you don't feel like touching either of those balls or the, sitting in this chair, that's okay. But Joseph is the first time I think I've gotten a name in this space. <clears throat> I feel like this is a pretty good interaction. Before I go, can you touch one of those balls? Just please touch the clear one because it lights up real pretty. You're upset? What are you upset about? 
Who's upset, Joseph or his parents? One of his parents. Can you let me know what you're upset about before I go? Keep the light, <clears throat> keep the camera on the green ball that does nothing but move if you roll it. And clear ball, that if you touch it, lights up. So can you touch it after it turns off? Thump. Can you thump something? Is that what made you upset? Energy. You need energy? Does it take a lot of energy for you to do what I'm asking? I understand if it does. Why don't we wrap this up, give you a chance to re-energize, if you will. I do appreciate the interaction. And this is Dwight, my haunted Fowler. Yeah, that's nerdy. Um, this is Dwight, my haunted Fowler, and I will be signing off, and we'll catch you soon. Take care.